this is Donna from Trust Links. I'm going to show you today how to do a jam jar tea light holder. And what I've done here is I've collected some um, flowers, dried flowers, and put them on with some Mod Podge, or um, you could use PVA glue 50 50 with water. And inside, I've put in an LED light. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, so I started off one here, as you can see, I've put some Mod Podge on and I've done that in three, three or four centimetre sections. I'm just going to go and pop a little bit in and we can carry on doing that. So I've used a paintbrush here, but so if you use a paintbrush, remember to wash it afterwards, otherwise you'll ruin your paintbrushes. Okay, so what I've done here, I've already put a Californian poppy petal on here and uh, this is a perennial tulip that I've put on and cherry blossom that I've put on here. Okay. So what we do is we put on another petal and what I'd say is don't worry about the bits that are sticking out because you're going to put another layer on after you have um, filled up your jam jar and that's going to stick down any petals and just basically coat it, have another level of um, security there. So this is a buttercup that I'm putting on. Oh, there's another flower there as well. Two for part of one. Put those on. And these colours are quite mellow, but if you wanted something a bit more vibrant, go for some bright coloured flowers that you can find. So things like sweet peas would be good. So three centimetre sections, just so that the glue doesn't dry out, and there we go, and so on and so forth, until you have completed your jam jar. So like I say, it does dry clear, and I've put some twine around here as well. If you were feeling brave and you were good with knots, you could um, tie some string around, you could hang it from a tree um, in the evening for a bit of ambiance, but um, I'm not very good with knots. I'm not good with knots. Oh, sorry. And uh, I wouldn't risk it, but if you're good at that, you can do that. Um, you can also use things like uh, these sycamore seeds um, or uh, spinners, spinning jennies, whirly gigs. However, these ones I put in my bag. And as you can see, they did not dry straight. And um, so I wouldn't use those ones. But also what you could do, if you haven't got anything such as um, flowers to hand, you could just get an old magazine. Sometimes they've got adverts in them. And um, you could cut up these pinks, for example. And um, you could do that that way. Or you could use anything. You could just get creative. You could um, use a children's magazine. Um, anything with nice shapes, textures, they don't have to be flowers, could be colours, and um, you could um, use those for uh, putting in your tea light holders. Or it doesn't have to be tea light holders, it could also be used as somewhere to put your paintbrushes, put your makeup brushes, your pencils, anything like that. And there you go. But that is how you make a jam jar tea light holder. So what I'm going to do now is going to um, shut the curtains and you'll hopefully you'll see what they look like and what will be the dust. So just give me one moment if you have a look at those. Okay. So there we go. Tea light holder. Um, obviously you've got to make sure that there are some gaps for your tea light um, to let the uh, light through. But there you go. So, that's how you make a jam jar tea light holder. Hope that's interesting for you. Um, have a go and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay, take care, bye.